Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my quarterly empties. I have my empties bag right here full of all the stuff that I finished in the last quarter and I don't have too much this quarter, at least not judging from the feel. I can't remember everything that's in here though so we're just gonna have to see when I go through the bag. But before jumping into the empties themselves, if you're new here please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So we're going to start off with two repeat products which I have in every single empties bag and that is my Batiste dry shampoo. I have two scents right here. We have the nice scent and the self love scent. The nice one is like, it's quite a typical one. I see that one all the time. It's not my favorite scent. Uh, but I repurchased it when I don't have any other options around. However, this self-love one, I think, is a limited edition uh, scent. And I really did like this one. Yes, I liked this one way better. This one is supposed to be Beaming Berries, it says. The nice one is uh, Charmin Peony. But overall, I love the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I repurchased them over and over and over again because they use some of the best. So yeah, the first two empties are right here. Another hair care empty is this one right here. This one is the Head & Shoulders Deep Cleanse um, sh Shampoo. I bought this as um, a deep cleanse kind of um, shampoo. I bought it almost like a clarifying shampoo. And I don't know if it worked the best for that. I mean, it definitely does cleanse my hair a lot. And I'm actually missing like a detox shampoo at the moment. I haven't used a clarifying shampoo in a while. And that might actually be why I'm not super happy with my hair at the moment. I like how it curls today, but it just doesn't feel as soft as it normally does. And when I washed it last time, it was very, very frizzy afterwards. So it might mean that I need to invest in a new clarifying shampoo soon. However, this is the last one that I finished. Um, I did like it. I love head and shoulders in general as a clarifying shampoo. So I wanted to try this deep cleanse one to see if it clarified even more. And I don't know if it did or if it's like the same kind of level as the typical uh, head and shoulders shampoo. But that is the next empty. I think the last hair care item that I have is this one here, which is another repeat product in my bag. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Nourishing Hair Food. And this is the uh, scent and like type of banana. I love this one. I just finished this one actually a couple days ago. It is one of my go-to hair masks. I kind of alternate between these type of products. Like they have different scents, different versions, but the banana one is my favorite. I actually have another one that I use put in my shower for my next hair, next hair wash. Um, and I, yeah, I, I really like this one. It does the job for me. It moisturizes enough. It leaves my hair really soft, smells really good, um, and it's quite affordable as well. So I love this product and I will definitely keep repurchasing it. So next up we have one kind of bath product. Uh, we do have a bath salt. I have it right here. This is the Salt Shack Melon Haven, sorry, Melon Heaven. This is the bath salt in the watermelon and strawberry scent. Um, I used to use this when I have a bath. I really like this scent. It wasn't the best one. It doesn't really have any Epsom salt in it. It just says Merso, which is sea salt. Um, yeah, it worked well, but I usually mix this one with a, like a mineral salt or like an Epsom salt just to help like with my achy legs. But overall, I like the scent of this and it was really nice to use in my bath. Next up, we have skincare products. First up, I have this little sachet, which is the Coxir um, Ultra Hyaluronic Cleansing Oil. I just brought this one when I was traveling and I did finish this one up. So it's nothing exciting, really. It did a job. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase this one. It's just like any other cleansing oil, but I did finish this sample off. And then another cleanser that I finished is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for Normal and Dry Skin. I love this product. I go back to it over and over again. I actually currently have two CeraVe cleansers that I kind of alternate between, or not alternate, but I use them together as my double cleanse. So I use the hydrating gel foaming one. Like It's like the same range, but it's like the clear version that's like a little bit foamy. I use that one because it takes off my makeup really well. Not waterproof mascara though, but everything else it takes off really, really well. Um, and then I always use this one as my second cleanse, both to get off the last remnants of makeup, but also to hydrate my skin because this one is so soothing, so hydrating on the skin. I just love slathering my skin in this, just letting like, it sit, massage it in for a bit and then wash it off. It does wonder for my skin and I absolutely love this one. So if you do have dry skin or to be honest, any type of skin, I would definitely recommend this one. I love this cleanser a lot. I have two more skincare items before we move into makeup because we actually have quite a lot of makeup in this bag. Next up, we have this Youth and Niacinamide Serum. 
I got this one in like PR um, a while back. It was nice. It wasn't anything particularly special. Um, this one says it has hyaluronic acid, licorice root and aloe vera in it. Um, yeah, it was nice. I would definitely repurchase the nail cinnamon serum again. But I don't know if this one did like anything specific or if it was just like a quite basic one. To be fair, I felt like it was quite basic. So I probably wouldn't repurchase a specific one, but I do like niacinamide as an ingredient. Then lastly for skincare items, we have this one here, which is actually my uh, sun cream. This is the Beauty of Josen um, Relief Sun Rise and Probiotic SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Really long name, but this is my current go-to um sun cream i'm actually really really close to finishing another one of these like i'm probably only have like a week left if that um so yeah i love this one i bought it in a two pack but i will definitely repurchase this one again it's really nice it's quite hydrating but it's not like super oily on the makeup it doesn't peel i mean this is a cool classic on like tiktok and instagram and things like that for a reason and i do really like it I recommend if you don't use a sun cream every day start because it does make a huge difference in your skin over time so yeah use a sun cream don't forget about it don't skip it even if it's a cloudy day don't skip it uh, and this is my current favorite so like i said i think the rest of the products are makeup products so let's just go in and pull out some things first up i have is the becca anti-fatigue under eye primer i finished this one up in my yellow product pan it's always so hard to open but this is what it looks like. Again, it was completely finished up. I wouldn't repurchase this again. I can't purchase it again because it's Becca. But even if I could, I wouldn't repurchase again. It was it was fine, but it really wasn't my favorite type of product to use. I have a powder next. This is my MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light Plus. I finished this one up. It looks like this. Um, it does have that kind of grid. It's like a baked product. So you can see it there. I have scraped everything off. It might look like there's a tiny bit left on the sides. But there really isn't. I scraped it off as much as could I even use my special to try to scrape it off. But that's just the way the like packaging is. So this one is completely done. It wasn't in a product or anything. It was just like my everyday kind of setting powder. Um, I like this for my face, but it wasn't a good setting powder for me under my eyes. It was way too cakey. Um, I couldn't bake with it. It was more like a kind of dusting kind of face powder. Um, I know this one used to be a cold favorite, and I think it might have been. Like, it's it is really good. I'm not gonna lie, but I do feel like. Powders have come a long way since this one came out. So yeah, it's definitely my favorite powder that I tried, but I'm happy that I did because I actually never tried this one back in the day. And um, so I'm happy that I managed to do so. But for now, I'm not sure if I would purchase this. I'll probably keep trying new powders. I also have two mascaras in here. We have the Hamish mascara. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like the smudge proof, no smudge mascara, something like that. I really like this one. It's a chewy mascara, so it worked really, really well. Um, it doesn't necessarily hold like a curl very much, uh, but sometimes when I'm working from home, I don't bother curling my lashes and like putting on what my for mascara. Because like today, if I want my lashes to stay curled, I have to use waterproof mascara. I would never be able to get lashes like this with non-waterproof mascara. Um, however, this one it was fine, and I would probably purchase this one to use as like a off-day mascara because it is really really nice and again that tubing effect makes it super easy to take off and then the second one is my mac magic extension mascara this is like a mini one in extensive black um this one really wasn't my favorite i maybe some people wouldn't say this is completely done oh my god it's so stuck in there uh, because there is definitely product left in here but it is so chunky and it's like all dried up and really really difficult to use and it's like like I said now I can't even like unscrew the lid because it's so stuck in there that's how dry it is now and um, I wouldn't repurchase this I got it as a free gift repurchase but yeah it really wasn't a very good mascara I, I wasn't a favorite at all it didn't really build even though it's quite thick and um, it didn't build it was way too dry the brush wasn't very nice so yeah don't like this one very much but that one is done too i have a concealer next this is my maybelline fit me concealer and i have this one i can't see anymore the shade because it's completely rubbed, rubbed off but i think it might have been like 10 or 05 or something but it's just like this light color you can see it's more of a winter concealer for me but i did take out the stopper and everything in here and it is completely done um this is like a go-to we were purchased for me when I don't really know what else to buy. Um, it's definitely not my favorite top concealer, but it's affordable, it's easy access. So that's why it's like a go-to repurchase for me. So I have two lip products next before we move in to eyeshadows because I actually have quite a few eyeshadows empties this uh, past quarter. 
Uh, first up, we have these two, like I said, though, which are the lip products. So the first one is my NYX Butter Gloss. This one is in the shade Apple Strudel. I finished both of these products in my year-long product pan. Um, as you can see, I scraped up absolutely everything in here. It is completely empty. Um, I, lo I love the formula of this. Um, I would definitely repurchase this one in like a better color. This color just wasn't for me. It was very, very kind of pale, peachy pink. You can see it there at the bottom. Um, so yeah, it wasn't the best shade for me, but I would, like I said, repurchase the um, product again, just in a different formula. I I'm thinking about maybe buying the Madeline, is that what it's called, that shade? Or something like that, because yeah, I think that would be nice, like one of the brownie nudes. But I really, really like that product. I just have too many products to get through first before I repurchase that. Then we have my Chanel lipstick. This is the Rouge Allure lipstick in Pimpante number 90. Uh, this one was like a peach nude. You can see it right there, but it is completely flat with the packaging. I don't scrape out these products because I feel like I got enough money's worth out of them. And I have way too many lipsticks again in my collection that I need to get through, so I don't scrape them out. But this one is empty. I like this formula, but this shade wasn't my favorite, so of course wouldn't repurchase. Then the last three products we have are actually all um, eyeshadows. We have these two kind of single pans, which were both deported into my collection. First up, we had this shade Isadora Cream, which came from a deported um, Isadora palette. It was like an all matte palette. Um, I did finish this one up in my yellow product pan, uh, so that is the first one. And then second up, we have this shade here, which was also in my yellow product pan. This is the shade green from the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. It's like that kind of light green in there. Really, really love this shade. And that one is also done. Then the final product that we have um, is one that I finished quite recently. I finished this one, I think like on the second to last day of the month or something like that. And that is this Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Kitten Karma. Again, this was in my yellow product pan and it is finished. Um, you can probably see that there's a little bit of product left in here, but actually if you take out the wand, um, it is very, very empty. I don't know if how it looks on camera, but yeah, this one is basically completely empty. I can see through it, through the ring light, and there's like no product left in there. So that is this last product, and those were actually all of my empties. A lot of makeup this quarter, actually. Again, not too many empties. I... I'm really, really close on a couple of products, but yeah, it's moving slow and I don't have as many empties as I used to because I work through all of my like half empty products. And what I do now is I kind of focus on like, you know, fuller products to completely finish um, both with makeup and like skincare, things like that. So it is taking me a little bit longer to go through things. But that is it for today, you guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your biggest accomplishment, what you have finished up recently, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.